PQ is conducting wire carrying a current. A, B and C are three point in the vicinity of its magnetic fields. Arrange the magnetic field in increasing order with reason. Since B is inversely proportional to R, therefore, B3 less than B2 less than B1. Whereas magnetic field strength greater at A or at B. Spacing between the lines is more at Y compared to at X hence magnetic strength ATX is more than at Y. Two magnets are kept side by side. Draw the magnetic lines of force. The following is the figure with lines of force. Current is allowed to pass through a solenoid draw magnetic lines of forces mentioning poles. Write down characteristic properties of magnetic lines of forces. Since lines coming out from North Pole and falls on South Pole, therefore right hand side is North Pole and left is South Pole as lines never intersects, magnetic field strength decreases as we move away on either side from magnetic axis. When a compass needle is brought near to the conducting wire, there is a deflection seen in the needle. 1. What does this prove? 2. Whose experiment is this? 3. If conducting wire is set west to east, which direction needle will set? Answer is. 1. Existence of magnetic field. 2. Named as Ersted experiment. 3. Needle will set west to east. Draw a neat and clean diagram of a current carrying a circular wire. How to find polarization at P in Q.in. Since magnetic field is clockwise and anticlockwise, therefore polarization at P and Q are S and N pole. Dot. Why is this a not a uniform magnetic field? At what point magnetic field is maximum? Non dot and spacing what point means is not a uniform magnetic field. Spacing between the magnetic lines correspond to magnetic strength, that is narrow are the lines larger is strength dot and vice versa. Magnetic strength is maximum at R and minimum at B. A circuit has a line of 5 ampere. A bulb of rating 500 watt is connected to the line at 220 volts. Will the fuse wire broken? P equals 500 watt. V equals 220 volt. As I equals P, V equals 500 and 220 less than 5A. Hence fuse wire will not be broken. Explain why a copper wire cannot be used as a fuse wire. Since the melting point of copper wire is very high it cannot be used as fuse wire. A fuse wire should have high resistance and low melting point so that it can bear 220 volt only. Distinguish between the terms overloading and short circuiting as used in domestic circuits. When live wire and the neutral wire came in contact with each other then short circuit happens. On the other hand when too many electrical appliances of high power rating are switched on at the same time or are connected to a single socket, they draw extremely large amount of current.